Hey everybody, it's Joy. Welcome back to Fairstead. I'm so excited to be back in this city and I know over the past little bit I did some other videos for the um, the 12 days of Christmas and I also did the City Planner Plays Challenge and those were all non-commentary and I know a bunch of you said that you missed the commentary but we are back in Fairstead for good and I'm really excited. So we did finally reach our next um, milestone while I was detailing the university and I am very excited because I think this will for sure be the next square we're going to purchase so that way I can build the ore industry and the forestry industry. I'm very excited about that. But before we get there, the city needs a bunch of fixes and there's a bunch of things that need to be done. So I thought today we would just get as much of that done as we can. But I can't believe how much the city has grown and that we only have two tiles left. So we're getting close to the end of this series. But the first thing I want to do today is we are so close to our students for our university. And if you remember, we put a university over here, which I did turn off when we were building our other university. But I want to do a little trick that we've used with our parks, um, which is to pull the university over and repurpose this with some university assets so we can hopefully get that um, get our students up so we can get to the next level, level four in our university. So I'm gonna leave the game paused and we're gonna get this put in and see if we can't get um, our uh, students up. So let me see what I can do here. Okay, this is a really tight fit, but I think we can fit the chess club back here. Because I really want one more building in this area. I don't want to destroy these apartments that are already here. All right, let's use, move it a little bit more. I just have a feeling that we can get this put back here. Yes. Okay, there it is. Oh, that's cute. I'm not going to be doing much detailing today at all, if any, because I just really want to get a lot of things fixed, but we'll definitely come back to this area and uh, detail this up a little bit at some point, but there's that. Okay, before I unpause, there's one other thing I want to put in, which is the disaster response unit. And I think that over here, would be kind of like the best area to fit it in. When we started, I didn't have the um, Natural Disasters DLC, but I ended up adding it in. And so I want to at least get that building in today. Oh, 
Okay, now I want to see if I can make a nice connection here. our lovely move it tool scooch this down just a little bit there we go that works just back. and then I want to create a connection on the other side here so Go from here. Up. Oh, that's perfect. And we'll just scooch this over a little bit. Here we go. And one of the things I still need to do is I need to detail the oil industry area. I did some of it, but there's still a lot to be done over here. But I kind of want to wait till we have our or in forestry industry because we might add end up adding a few more things over here so we'll see okay so now that I have both of those I'm going to unpause and then let's go over and watch our university and see if we can't hit level four And there we go. Okay, so now when the school year ends, we will definitely, oh, we drop back down again. Okay, we'll get there. We will. <laughs> it might just fluctuate for a minute. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is go around the city and check out garbage and cemetery and get all those either emptying or stop emptying. So let me go around and do that. Okay, I think we have enough 
garbage and death care now. And yes, our university did go to four stars. So let's just start adding another academic work. Perfect. Okay. We are looking in better shape here. Except we are losing money. So that's another thing we'll have to fix today as well. I'm going to slow this down. Okay, I do want to address traffic, but before I do that, I want to think about bringing the university over into this side as well. I really don't want to bulldoze anything. Oh, that's right. We have this little spot over here. This would actually be a good spot. We could fit a couple little buildings back here. A little satellite campus. That could be cute. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and I think back behind the university would be a good spot to put a couple of services. So let me use the, yep, let's use, so we've got a police station, a little fire station. Let's grab that small medical clinic. Let's take that over here. A little church slash cemetery. Let's put that at the end. Um, maybe just some commercial, but I definitely want it to be local and organic produce through here as well. So, I'm sure that, that will create a little connection there. Do a little bit here and again I'll come back at some point and detail this area up okay let's pull this over let's pull over our tiny home park actually this should come all the way up here I really like this tiny home park I think that turned out really well. Okay, so now we can come back over to our university. If anyone knows what the um, mod is that you can turn off district names or hide them, <laughs> please let me know because sometimes this happens. It's really frustrating. You can't grab it. Okay. We're getting there. Alright, we'll just let that run for a bit. But now we have two satellite campuses, which I feel is good. So I think that will work. Okay. Traffic. I want to redo this interchange here so I think I'm just going to bulldoze this entire thing and start over because it's not really functioning that well and there's not a lot of space here so I'm not going to worry about making a good looking interchange <laughs> it's probably going to be one of my we'll just see what we can fit in this area 
but we can do better than this, I think. Okay, well, this is definitely not attractive in any way, but we'll see if we can make this work. As long as it's functional, I'm happy. I can come back and decorate it up and, you know, make it look a little cleaner at some point. Yeah, it's, it's definitely ugly. It's hideous. <laughs> but I think it's going to work a little bit better than what we had. So we're going to go with it. Okay, let's go ahead and press play. Watch all the chaos ensue. Nobody knows where to go. Okay, so now I've got to fix this bus route. I think if I just take these off, I want to make sure I have a good transfer opportunity. I don't need that one there, but I've got that one there. Okay, that should work for that. Okay. Let's make sure there's no traffic lights on any of these. Just make sure everyone's giving way where they're supposed to. And this thing is funky looking. Okay, and then make sure we have this set up correctly and this is where our left turn happens and you both go straight okay let's get all these set up
Okay, now I've got all the right roads and everyone going they're supposed to. Yeah, that's hideous. <laughs> but it's ours, so we're it's functioning. We're gonna leave it for now. Okay, now this roundabout I feel like we can improve things here a little bit. Let's make sure I have this set up correctly. Um, okay, so shift, control, click. Perfect. I mean, it's not bad. Oh, you should not be turning there. Let's fix you. I mean, knock on wood for an industry area, I'm pretty happy with our traffic flow through out here. Let's see if we can improve on this a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to redo these connectors. Let's just clean you up here. So you're going straight and then I want both of these to be able to go straight and then you can also turn. And I think that will eventually help this get cleared out. Well that looks like it's getting cleared out finally. All right, we'll come back and check on that so far as traffic. Okay, so a while back, we upgraded a road over here to a ridiculous size. Yeah, this one down here. And I've just always wanted to see, this has always been like the traffic area in our city and it's working and I'm afraid if I mess with it but I just I don't know I feel like I want to give it another way another try because this six lane road just seems like overkill and I did have a nice tree lane street through here before which I really liked and I've never come back to mess with this area again this may be a huge mistake. <laughs> okay, so now we have that smaller four lane road there, which I feel like looks a lot better. Let's straighten this up a bit. That's a little bit better. those stop signs I mean I feel like it's working fairly well there's not a huge amount of backup I had these trees here before because this road didn't used to be this wide so I feel like we can clean this up and this will be another area I come back and do some detailing in at some point we can clean this up for now and yeah we're having traffic issues okay let me try to mess with this a bit and see <laughs> last time I messed with this a lot of it Maybe I should have just left well enough alone. Let me give this a try.
I don't know why I decided to mess with this area. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't think the tra- I've tried a traffic light here before, and it just, just backs everything up. I mean, these sides are clearing out okay. But, yeah. Really, we need two lanes going forward in order to clear out the traffic on this other side. I don't know if that is going to actually do anything because they still have to go down into one lane. Yeah, because this just, yeah, this is no bueno. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go back to a four-lane road in between the intersection and the bridge just to allow enough of this traffic to get through. Let me try messing with this a little bit more. See, I should have just left it alone. But I just, I hated that six lane road there. I feel like it just looked silly. Okay, I think this will end up clearing out. It's looking better already. So we're gonna move on from this area. We'll check back in later. I think that will, I think this will work. And it looks better than that big six lane road. So I'll take it. Okay, from one problem child to another. This is the other area that's always been really backed up. And I know there were some comments. I think I used some of the wrong roads here as well. So, and I think having a light here is not working. And I don't think that extra industry road is working. So we're gonna re redo that, rethink all of that. Okay, so I know I need another exit for my industry area, a more direct line to the freeway. So, as much as I don't wanna do this, I think I'm gonna create basically like a little, we've got this already ugly by road here that goes straight to the forestry industry. So I think I'm gonna make something comes up and over and goes to the other side. I know this isn't going to be pretty, it's not realistic, but I think it's going to work in keeping that other main road clear. So the other thing I'm going to do that I didn't like they did is I did use lane mathematics here, which I think is important, but I just don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to clean that back up. And I think if we add in this extra on and off ramp just for the trucks, 
I think it'll be a non-issue. So let me see what I can put together and hopefully it won't look too awful. <laughs> you just have to let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I know this isn't ideal, but let me see what I can do here. Okay, and same thing here. Let's make sure everyone is going where they're supposed to be going. Perfect. And a little giveaway action here for these guys. Definitely not attractive at all. I really don't like it, but. I think it's going to work to help keep traffic clear in this area. Let's just watch this for a minute and see how this goes now that we've got that extra road put in. Okay, let's check on our traffic. Hey, that just dumped to 80%. I am happy with that. And I, I play with despawning off, so I like to uh, make things difficult on myself. Okay. It's not a pretty solution, but I feel like it works for right now. I see another hot spot. I knew this was going to be an issue with this bridge. We really don't have a proper like main quarter through this little fishing town and I don't want them using that road. I need some water here. So I think what I'm going to use is use that um, small four lane road and kind of force the traffic where I want it to go through the town. Yeah, because I don't want them using that. Alright, let me see what I can do here. Okay, let's hit play again, and I think this will start to sort itself out. Yeah, that's fine. I want to pr prioritize that one anyways. Make sure these have dedicated turning lanes there. I really want people to only come left out of this bridge. It's almost like the, the road um, with the fishing harbors on it is like a local local road so if you're coming off the bridge yeah you just force the traffic that way i think once this clears out it will work much better let's just give this a little bit of time well guys i think i'm gonna leave it there for the day next um time we're gonna do a complete 
transit, public transit audit of the city. I'm very excited to get into that. Um, I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.